<laughs> but we're going to continue on this show with the person making their way to the stage right now. This is the first time I believe they've ever done this show, right? Please put your hands together for Billy Buttrick. Good. <laughs> Let me start by apologizing. It's right around now. The reflection line off my alabaster ass typically causes some burns to your all's corneas. <laughs> I do apologize. It is not easy looking like this. It is not easy looking like the love child between carrot top and strawberry shortcake. It's not easy. If my personality is any indication whatsoever, I was conceived during a grudge book. <laughs> 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 I was born and raised here in Appalachia, and as all of y'all know, we do not coddle children here whatsoever. No. So one year, when we didn't have enough money for presents around the tree, well, Dad just tied a noose around the chimney and said, well, you know what, kids? Sometimes even Santa gets sad. <laughs> <laughs> one year, when we didn't have any money for electricity and we couldn't pay the power bill, Dad was like, well, you know what, kids? Frosty the Sun Man's been a victim of climate change, and well, we're sitting in the dark to mourn. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm most excited to be here tonight is that I'm actually celebrating 17 years of sobriety. It is true. Yes! Yeah! My addiction completely ruined my life. By the time I was 26 years old, I was married four times. No! Turns? Turns out what I was actually addicted to was poofy dresses and multi-tiered cakes. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm a founding member of Wedding Addicts Anonymous. Man, for short. <laughs> Here's a little uh, tip out of the uh, pamphlet from Wan. This is how we work the steps. Now the next time I feel like I need to get a divorce and remarry, I just go out and buy myself a cupcake and a skirt. <laughs> and a few friends over. <laughs> I'll give you another tip right now. This is a good tip right now for you, pamphlet. When you're planning your fourth wedding, go ahead and plan a winter wedding. That way at least Mother Nature can wear white to your services. <laughs> it's true, I'm entirely too hoary. I mean, fair. I invited to wear white. So I actually walked down the aisle in a pink ball gown. Can you picture that? Me in a pink ball gown. I look like a hemorrhaging cupcake. Here comes the bark. Here comes the bark. Oh, yeah, it was a scene. Oh, it was a scene. <laughs> oh, goodness, that's embarrassing. My stomach's up here growling. Sorry. Probably going to have to go to a donut shop later. It's one of the few things that actually survived the pandemic. One of the things I love about donuts so much is because it's the only time you can eat a cold hole out of a closed box and it not be considered a piece of a corpse. <laughs> one of the other reasons I love I love donuts so much is because it's a great date night food. It's one of the best things that you can do for your freak factor. It's a little indicator. See, next time, pay attention to the order, people. Say that they order, like, cinnamon and sugar. Yeah, you know, missionary is going to be on that evening repertoire. They'll say they order, like, you know, a glaze, chocolate glaze, long john with slivered almonds and shaved coconut. Uh, gimp suit is in your future! A uh, gimp suit is in your future! Harnesses await you! You gotta like sit there and pay attention to it. <laughs> so I went out to the mall beforehand, trying to look a little bit more human for you guys, trying to pass as mortal, yeah, look a little bit more alive. And wouldn't you know it, laying home quit making my shade. They no longer made. I can't believe it's not Casper. <laughs> right out of it. They were able to direct me into a lovely little highlighter, though. It was called, My God, that thing on the curve, just moved! Yeah, it was right on my cheeks. Blended right in. I have been this freakishly pale my entire life. I we went through the entirety of my elementary school with being the only redhead. So we get this new girl in, and she's decided, you know, let's go ahead and hang on a little ginger free. You know, because it's good sport, and it is. So she decides... She's gonna come up here and say, well, you know what, I think you look like a pregnant tampon. <laughs> not a bad line, not a bad line from an elementary school kid. But this is where she crossed it. She's like, I think you look like Pippi Longstocking. Well, Pippi's fighting words. 
Everyone knows my mom's strawberry shortcake. I chose violence and I pushed her. <laughs> I'm thinking, good, she's the new girl. She don't know me. Well, she goes to the principal's office and says, well, this little girl just, she just knocked me over. Sure did. <laughs> and I'm thinking I'm all right. And they're like, well, do you know who did it? No, she's a new girl. Can you describe her? <laughs> well, she had on blue pants, uh-huh, pink shirt, uh-huh, oh, and, and red hair. Anybody but you get your pale pasty ass the principal's office? Anybody but you get your pasty ass the principal's office? And all the time I'm thinking, how did they know it was me? <laughs> Thank you guys so much to your merch. <laughs> Amy Buttrick, everybody, one more time for sharing with us the most morbid joke I've ever heard about a donut shop ever.